It's not too cold. It's minus three degrees and it's the perfect time to show you something about the choke while we're walking to the bike. I uh, have here uh, my shopping list and on it I'm making a graph here because the choke works at, no actually the engine works with a precise amount of fuel and air and this ratio needs to be set by the choke initially before the engine reaches its operating temperature so as is the bike is cold I'll just shift to neutral and uh, how this precise amount works and what uh, gives a uh, uh, choke lever users a great amount of frustration this is going to be choke lever I'm going to set it to full on is that this balance is very precise and very finicky between fuel and air right now the fuel in the gas tank is extremely cold the air that I uh, breathe in is also fairly cold the engine is very cold and the spark plug only has a limited amount of heat that it gives and uh, combustion is really only possible there, there's my bell curve in a really narrow range and that's the narrow range that you're gonna have to figure out with your hand and feel and listen to the uh, exhaust note on the bike when the engine is colder um, no, uh, this this little zone of uh, fine balance. It's possible to err and set the choke lever somewhere on this side of the graph as well as to this side of the graph. I mean, in between, you will hear the engine. If you overdo it, you will hear the engine revving up, and uh, if you underdo it, you will hear the engine slowing down again. This would indicate lower RPM, lower RPM higher RPM for uh, idling well. Okay, I don't want to drain my battery too much. Uh, let's fire this thing up with the choke full on. You can see from the tachometer that the engine is idling below a thousand RPM. So, as is, we're here. If you listen to the engine sound, you can hear that it's picking up there. It's picking up speed, but if I move this one back to normal, it's picking up even more speed. Now it's at 1500 RPM or so. There. And if I move it back to normal, the engine RPM drops back again to a thousand or, or even below that because the engine is cold. If I give it a little more choke, it picks up to uh, around 1500 because that's where the ideal point is, the balance point. And as the engine gets warmer and warmer, I need to inch it forward millimeter by millimeter because I don't want to keep the engine revving into three, four, five thousand RPM when it's just uh, when it when it's really cold. So. And as long as it takes to watch this, that's exactly how long it takes to, for the engine to warm up. And you, I have to keep the engine's RPM at a normal rate for idling. And, uh, and that's done by inching this choke lever forward and, and back and finding this balance point. Or maybe even climbing down a little bit on this side of the hill so that it's not over. 2000 ideally. So that's it. Have fun with your choke levers.